Hey you guys, this is Aldo with PragerU. Today we're gonna to be talking about the First Amendment. I thought to myself, what better place to talk about this issue than the bastion of freedom of speech, the American college campus. So here we are at UCLA to ask the students what they think. It's gonna be a good one, let's do it. What do you think about the First Amendment? It is definitely an amendment that's needed. <laughs> yeah. The First Amendment in general is incredibly important. The freedom of speech aspect is obviously important, especially on a college campus. I think in every democracy there is freedom of speech and there needs to be freedom of speech, so it's a good thing. Because I come from a, um, a country that barely has any like, freedom of speech. And so I think freedom of speech like, is kind of like, it has it's good influence and it's super influential right now like in college campus. Should all kids, you know, who come on a campus have the right to speak their peace and speak their truth? Yeah, definitely. So do you think that hate speech is free speech? No, I don't think so. Would you say that hate speech is free speech? Freedom of speech doesn't mean like freedom from accountability. So I feel like when people have the freedom to say it, but it doesn't mean you have the freedom to not be accountable. There must be some censorship. There must be some limits. You cannot just say whatever you want. Like for example, with the Nazis and stuff like that. It's good that now there is censorship. Obviously there's 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 difference between speech that I hate and like hate speech. Like actually like saying negative things about a person's you know religion, race, that type of thing. Freedom of speech should be based on like no harassment and no offense toward others because hate speech actually like, is too too offensive and is and I think anything related to hatred shouldn't be legitimate. So doesn't everybody determine what's offensive to them? Like if I say that you're offending me right now, mm -hmm. do I have the right to censor your speech now? Not really. So I guess it, it technically is free speech, but that doesn't mean you're not able to be held accountable for that. Would you say that the First Amendment is outdated? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Groups, parties, um, associations, organizations who have altered their interpretation of it, but no, I don't think it's outdated. It was exposed that Twitter executives were colluding with the FBI to censor certain speech, to censor prominent conservatives, to even deplatform a sitting president, despite internal memos uh, saying that he didn't even break any of their rules. Uh, do you see that as a violation of the First Amendment freedom of speech? I'm personally not the biggest fan of the government, even though I'm not like a, a conservative person. And regardless of what side you're on, I think it's a very slippery slope when you see collusion with the government to ban certain speech and to censor certain speech, because how easily could that happen to the other side? I, I still feel like it, it's not appropriate. Like, nonetheless, like people should be able to voice their opinions, and I feel like we should all be able to express how we feel. Twitter's a private company, so if Twitter wants to ban someone for saying something, it's well within their rights to do so. I but is it still private if it's coming from the direction of the FBI or government uh, yeah. government officials? Yeah, because the government can go and tell any private company to do something and the private company can do it or not do it. The difficult thing with censoring is to what extent can you censor? Who can decide whether we will censor or not? Some people think something is hate speech, other people think the same thing is not hate speech. So that's always danger with censorship. Who will decide what do we censor? It's impossible yeah. because it's subjective. Yeah. And so what you find offensive is different from what I find offensive or hateful or whatever. Yeah. The slippery slope is once you say that hate speech uh, should be censored, then it's very easy for government entities or people in general to just shift it and say, I find this hateful and therefore I'm going to censor you mm -hmm. based on what I like or I dislike. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone should be going to jail or locked up for saying something wrong. People make mistakes. I think we should just all be respectful of each other. How do you even govern that? Like, how do you even say, like, oh, you get a fine for for saying something like that? Like, do you get jail time? Like, you just got to just let more, more stuff happen instead of having, like, you know, the cancel culture and stuff like that. Right. It's, it's hard to point out any time in history where people that are pushing for censorship or banning certain speech are ever the good guys or ever on the right side 100%, of history. 100 percent. I don't. Yeah. 100 percent. I don't think censorship ever works. We have an issue with um, politicians not allowing the public to voice their opinion and I think the government is becoming a lot less for the people um, and I think that's one thing that both our sides can come to an agreement on that yeah. we're definitely getting the short end of the stick on all of this. Well you guys that's it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends be sure to follow me and PragerU on all social medias and if you haven't done so already download the PragerU app so you stay up to date with everything that we're doing here I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I appreciate your support.